guys and welcome back to our video. Today I'm here with Hunting Rarish. Hi there. Today we'll show you how you can make your own Android emulator in VirtualBox. It is a really easy process and you can test Android apps and games directly on Windows. Don't forget to like and subscribe with the notifications on if you like our content. Let's get straight into the video. Okay, so the first step we're going to complete is to actually download and install VirtualBox. It can be downloaded easily from the website here. After you download it, don't forget to install it. As I have already downloaded and installed it, I will not do that. The second step is to download the Android ISO from the official website. Just download it from here. Link in the description for both VirtualBox and ISO. Alright, so now we will open the app. It is inside this folder for me. So let us open it. There. I will have to click on new. You can put any name here. We'll just put Android. You can leave the machine folder like that, but you will have to choose type Linux. It is already chosen and then select the version as Linux 2.6, 3.x, 4.x, 64 bit. After that, you'll have to select the memory size here. You can just leave it like that, or you can select 2048 megabytes if you want it to work better. Here, just select create a virtual hard disk. Now, then select VDI, then select the dynamical allocated, and then you can leave the hard disk size at 8 gigabytes. Now, click on create, and then virtual machine should appear here. Okay, now go to settings, then go to storage, and then select the ISO file you downloaded earlier, here. Just go to the location you save it and then choose it. Click OK. And then you can start the machine. Then you will be prompted with this. You will have to install it. You choose that option. After that, select Create Modify Partitions. You will want to click No here. And then you will be prompted with this screen. When this screen appears, choose New. Then create a primary disk and choose the free disk space. Make the partition bootable. Then select Write and tap Yes. Here you'll just have to wait. And after it is finished, tap Quit. Here, select the partition to install Android after choose a ext4 to for format just tap yes now and after it's all done you'll be prompted with this pop-up now we'll have to Unmount the ISO file you chose earlier. Just unmount it. Think it's unmounted. Let me check. Yep, it's unmounted. And now we'll just have to reboot into the system. Okay, so after Android boots, you'll be greeted with the setup. Just click on start. We won't connect to the Wi-Fi here. Here we can just select the date and time, but it is good for me. I will not allow it to use the location and other things. I will not 
use anything now so I'll just select not now here we can just select any of them I suppose all right and here we have it let's get to the second part of the setup Okay, so here we have the last part of the setup. We can just hit start here. I will not copy anything. Here we can sign in. We'll just sign in here. Alright, so I added my account, now I will also add a PIN. I will now re-enter it. And here we can add something else as well. But I will not do that. Okay, so there we go. The Android virtual machine. You can basically play Android games, try new Android apps, and many more. We have the Play Store here. So you can basically access any app. Well, that was mostly the video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I hope this video was helpful to you, thanks for watching!